As many Oklahoma producers know, wheat pasture makes for great winter forage, and some of the most significant research on the topic takes place in a field in Logan County. So wheat's a really interesting forage, uh, and it's really important for cattle production in Oklahoma. The, 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 the biggest thing about wheat pasture uh, is the high quality of the forage. And so it's very high in protein, it's very digestible, very high in energy. Uh, a lot of the research that uh, is in the, in the industry and in, in the scientific literature about how to manage cattle on cool season uh, annual pastures come from that station in Oklahoma. The Marshall Wheat Pasture Research Unit uh, is a, kind of a, one of the premier facilities for OSU Department of Animal and Food Sciences, certainly in our grazing cattle program. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to celebrating kind of 30 years of the impact of the, of the research that we've done there. That research station has generated a lot of good information for the producers, not only in that region, but across the state of Oklahoma. So the research stations in general, uh, we are embedded in local areas so that particularly as we think about agronomy, that the soil types and so forth represent that of the region or that area because the soil types in Guymon, Oklahoma would obviously be different than they are here in Stillwater. So historically, the Marshall Wheat Pasture Station has been focused on stalker cattle management uh, on wheat pasture. And, and the primary management tool that we have uh, for managing stalkers on wheat is through nutrition and supplementation. Whether that be uh, energy supplementation or mineral supplements or uh, evaluating different additives. So the, the core of the research has been stalker cattle supplementation, but it, there's been a lot of multidisciplinary research uh, that, that has been uh, added on to that and so we've looked a lot at how stalker cattle supplementation interacts with the varieties of wheat that we plant or the planting date of the wheat that we plant or uh, the timing that we transition from forage production for cattle to grain production from the wheat and a lot of the models that that you'll see in use today like the first hollow stem advisor on the Oklahoma Mesonet website that decision aid, a lot of that data has come from the work that we've done at Marshall over time. You know, when we think about it, it's unique in that it not only has benefited producers that raise wheat, but it also has been beneficial to the cattle producers. And so for one research station and one, group, one, one land area to be able to say that it's generated research that's helped both of those, I think is really important. And not only have we learned about different varieties of wheat, uh, those that are good for adding additional gain, those that are at, at able to produce good yields. But we've also been able to test a number of products on the cattle. Um, one of the early problems they had with wheat pasture were cattle that bloated sometimes. Some cattle would bloat on wheat. And so companies came up with a, a product that would help uh, alleviate that and prevent the bloat. And so that was one of the products that was proven and uh, researched there at the Marshall Wheat Pasture. Uh, you know, in, in one way, shape, or form, that station has quite a legacy of the research that it's produced, not, not just the, the actual experiments that have, that have been done there, but many of the students that have been trained there, graduate students that have trained there, that have gone on to other institutions and continued some of that work and expanded that work at other places, uh, other universities and other states. As scientists, we really enjoy uh, get, being on the cutting edge and learning new things and and understanding the, the fundamental biology of how um, a lot of these systems work. But the great thing about the work that we do in the Department of Animal and Food Sciences, and especially at Marshall, is that we can learn some of those new um, scientific things, but they're all extremely applicable and practical for cattle managers. Uh, the, the results that we get there, uh, at, at our Marshall station can immediately be applied to most wheat pasture grazing enterprises in Oklahoma.